Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this demo, I'll show you how easy it is to create ASP.NET web applications that are optimized to run everywhere, including on multiple browsers and mobile tablet devices, by using the controls and extensions that ship as part of the DevExpress ASP.NET subscription. In the next few minutes, you'll discover that DevExpress makes it incredibly easy to create run everywhere apps that are touch enabled. So let's get started. I'll start by creating a new project in Visual Studio. And I'll select the dexperience ASP.NET tablet web application project template. This brings up the DevExpress ASP.NET project wizard. From here, I can choose either the Realtor Store or Custom Layout. I'll select the custom layout, which allows you to customize each of the sections. I'll keep the defaults and click the Create Project button. Let's take a look at this solution in the browser. Now I have a fully working tablet app in less than a minute. And it has several DevExpress ASP.NET controls, like the grid view, which supports sorting, column moving, and much more. Let's see how this would render on a mobile tablet device. Here's an iPad emulator with the same DevExpress solution that we just created. It looks like a native iOS app. In fact, when I click to change the pages, I get a very nice slide animation effect. The ability to support touch tablets and provide a great look with animations and gesture support is built into the DevExpress ASP.NET products and automatically is enabled when you run on a mobile tablet. Let's see how easy it is to customize. I want to show data in this grid from my local SQL Server database. I'll go back to Visual Studio and open the default.aspx page. Let's go to Design View and remove the XML data source and grid view. Now I'll add a new DevExpress grid view by double clicking the icon from the toolbar. Then I'll click New Data Source option from the GridView Smart tag. I'll select SQL Data Source and click OK. Now I'll create a new SQL connection. I'll specify the server as my local SQL Server instance. And I'll select the Northwind database. Let's save the connection. And I'll select product name, unit price, and units in stock. Then click Next and test the query, and click Finish. And now it's created for us a new SQL data source that's bound to the grid view. Next, I'll click the Columns link and set the Unit Price Columns Display Format String property to C. This will display the Unit Price column as a currency value. Let's take a look at this in the emulator again. Now the grid shows the data that we bound to without writing any code. The Unit Price column shows the values as currency. We're able to easily sort the data. And Paging gives that great slide animation. This project template uses our custom iOS theme, which follows Apple's guidelines for iOS app user interface elements. That's why it looks and feels like a native app. The touch targets are larger, have rounded corners, and there's even special fonts and colors. By deploying this solution to your web server, your end users can access and interact with this tablet ASP.NET web app using any browser, whether it's iOS, Android, or the new Windows tablets. Now let's take a look at another layout in this project template called Realtor Store. I'll click File, New Project, and select the same DevExpress ASP.NET Tablet Web Application Template. However, this time from the wizard, I'll choose Realtor Store. Now let's run this in the browser. We have a very nice tablet application that's built using the custom layout and DevExpress ASP.NET controls. For example, the left column here uses our grid view, which gives you the ability to easily filter the data. Now let's see this in the tablet emulator. It looks great. I can still filter the data easily. For example, let's find all the addresses with the letters ST for street in them. Now let's take a look at the card view. I can click on the special offers and I'll be presented with a detailed view of the property. Or I can click on gallery and use my finger to swipe through the images. I can also click on the pager buttons to move between the images. You can easily customize this solution the same way we customized the previous layout. Now let's look at the touchboard demo. This great demo was designed to show you what's possible when you create a tablet-only app using DevExpress ASP.NET. 
Let's take a look at it in the emulator. The beautiful UI, touch response, and smooth animations give this demo a very native app feel. However, it's an ASP.NET solution. Let's customize this stock market widget to show data from my local SQL Server. To open this demo, click File, Open Project. Then navigate to your local Users folder. From there, select Public, Public Documents, DExperience Demos, ASP.NET, and Common. Now you can choose C-Sharp or Visual Basic for the language you prefer to work in. I'll select C-Sharp. Then click Touchboard and open the Touchboard solution. Let's customize the widget. I'll click the Widgets folder and open the market.ascx file. I'll remove the object data source. I'll also remove this div that shows the chart images. I'll remove the code that populates the div from the code behind. Next, I'll remove the columns of the grid view. Now let's go to the design view. From the grid view smart tag, I'll select the new data source option. I'll select SQL data source and click OK. Now I'll create a new SQL connection. I'll specify the server as my local SQL server instance and I'll select the Northwind database. Let's save the connection. And I'll select product name, unit price, and units in stock. Then click Next and test the query and click Finish. And now it's created for us a new SQL data source that's bound to the grid view. I'll click the Columns link and set the Unit Price Columns Display Format String property to C. This will display the Unit Price column as a currency value. Now let's take a look at this in the browser. I can see the widget now has the grid view with the product information we just bound to. And we can click page through it easily. Let's take a look at this in the tablet. When running on mobile devices, the grid view automatically shows the slide animation when paging. And we can also swipe using our finger to move through the data. And the widgets can still be easily moved around. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.